All right, let's do one for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Eight of Swords. We're not doing this. <laughs> We're not doing this this year, Pisces, please. Eight of Swords, Six of Cups. Emperor. Somebody did something and they're afraid of the reaction that they're going to get from somebody. And it could be because something about, you know, even like being scolded or scorned as a child. I'm getting the word scorn and scold. Okay. So let's say somebody maybe has a fear about something in particular. And somebody did something and they're afraid of being scolded. They're afraid of being scolded. All right, okay, cups, chariot, ten of wands, knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Oh my lord, my goodness. So it's kind of like, it's, it's, it, 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 this is an interesting reading. So somebody may be dealing with another person, you know. Somebody that they're dating may even remind them of their father. Or somebody that was, you know, older, who probably had a very bad attitude, uh, probably yelled, screamed a lot, probably over ridiculous stuff. So somebody could be in a relationship with somebody or dealing with somebody like that, where they are afraid. For instance, somebody could have gotten a, their tire caught in the mud, or maybe they got some mud on the car. Um, something like that and the car had just been cleaned or like a new shirt I'm getting something about like a car or a car tire maybe somebody got into a, like a little fender bender and they're afraid to say something to the person um, because of how they may react so they're really really stressed about it let me see two wands ten of pentacles Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Three of Wands. So here's the thing. Whoever it was that you used to deal with, this new person, I don't think they're like they're like that. Either you were in relationship with somebody like that. I don't feel like you have to worry about that with this person. Whoever this is that could be coming in. All right. Or it's another friend. Somebody maybe even feels like they're afraid of asking people for help. Because they they don't want to feel weak or inferior. Or maybe the person that they have depended on is somebody that, you know, maybe they feel like they can't depend on anyone. I feel like there is someone around, could be family or like family. I feel as though whoever this is, if you reach out to whoever it is that you need to speak to, you know, if you reach out to whoever this is, whatever the problem is that you're having, I feel like it's going to be okay. All right. That could be like something that somebody's facing. So somebody could be dealing with somebody who is like, you know, I'm getting something about that could be something now that may maybe maybe this is showing up because I'm kind of like wondering to myself why is this kind of showing up this could be something that somebody's having to deal with you know a Pisces um, perhaps you know especially like the last several readings that I did a, a while back were so terrible um, perhaps you've moved on from that relationship hopefully and um, maybe now you're having some of that trauma Kind of coming out and you're feeling like you don't know who you can reach out to for help or anything like that for whatever it is but i feel like something's changed you know i feel like it's safe for you to connect with people maybe even connect with older people you know people from from a little while ago also if you know, sometimes when we get into certain relationships, we let go of certain people and then we can't go back. 
And you can just like open up to them and say, look, this is what happened. You know, this is what I was going through, so I didn't reach out to you. Don't be upset with me. You know, please don't be upset with me. It was nothing that you did. You know, it could be something like that too. But that could be what part of this is. It's kind of swallowing the pride and saying, look, you know, I was going, I was actually going through something. You know, so I had to kind of like, I distanced myself for whatever reason. I remember a long time ago, I had to do that with somebody years ago. Um, I had gone through some serious stuff. Very serious stuff. And I dropped off the, the face of the earth for like a year. <laughs> no Facebook, nothing. And when I come back, you know, certain people or a friend was like, you know, I thought it was something I did. And they took it very personally. And I feel like they hurt their feelings. And I was like, no. I was like, it's, it was nothing personal. I was going through some serious trauma. And I had to find myself. And no matter if I had whoever I had talked to, those people would not have understood the extent of what I went through. So I kept to myself and dealt with it in my own way. I'm not saying everyone should do that. I'm not saying it's healthy. For me, it actually it turned out pretty good for me because, you know, I got myself through it and I did things that I needed to do, but I didn't involve other people. You know, and part of that is because, you know, a lot of times people would not really fully understand, you know, there's a lot of stuff that kind of goes into that, but that could be part of what this is too, you know, maybe if you want to reconnect with somebody be like, look, I'm sorry, you know, it was nothing personal. I just had to kind of pull away for what, for whatever reason, you know, during, during a pretty bad time in my life, you know, I pulled away from a lot of people from a lot of it was because of embarrassment, you know, I don't want people to see me like that. So I'm not saying it's right, but we're human and that's what we do. Sometimes we all have our own way of doing it. Some of us go on social media and blast everything. Some of us, hide you know we're all different but that's pretty much it if there is um i do feel like there is somebody who will definitely understand whatever it is that you're going through in fact i feel like there's a lot more people that's going to understand what you're going through and there are people that you can definitely lean on in reference to whatever this is okay so i don't know I think that's pretty much it. I could probably keep going on and on, but I feel like that's the gist of the story. So anyway, like, comment, share, follow. Hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. That's it.